And true Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, are you praying? Faithful and true Lamb of God I worship you You're the King of kings Lord of lords Faithful and true Lamb of God Praise the bread of life, Emmanuel, God with us, the one who saves. We praise the cup of life, that glorious spring that washes our sins away. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. The Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you. I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, and I will follow the lion, I will follow the lamb, I will follow the lion. I will follow the Lamb. I honor the Lion. I honor the Lion. I honor the Lamb. I honor the Lion. I honor the Lamb. Bless him in the spirit. Shema la kata brande ge barusa zige debele katusia. Kate brandi ge la hashala baka brandi ge barusi ata. Make melodies in your heart. Shala brats kete malakatusi ata. The Bible says, "Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit." Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Ala baratas kada brenda gede baratu sati gede balakatusia. Krata kapara gede balakata brenda gede balakusia ta. Shkade berentos kali barahas kade balatusia. The one true God and Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Don't be distracted. It's part of the meeting. Pray. It's an anointing service for divine preservation. I will sing unto the Lord, for He has triumphed gloriously. 
The horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea. That's going to be someone's prophetic word after tonight. Ah, that the Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more. Indeed, we will sing the songs of Miriam. We will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea. Shabababa one more minute you are still praying you are stretching your spirit man to expand building capacity Majesty, we worship you, the God of all flesh, King of kings, Lord of lords, we honor you. In the name of Jesus. That all those spirits that appear to you, they won't allow you to go to bed. For God's sake, you go, God gave sleep for rest. But there are as soon as you put your head up, there they come again. Coming as all kinds of things. Taking you back to secondary school. Taking you back to primary school. What business do you have going back there? Help that lady, please. I like your spirit to be fired up because in the next 10 minutes, we are going to step into a season of prayer. First. First. And hear me many of you as you pray in that prayer you, you are you are sending a, an alarm in the spirit enough is enough enough of living in fear what if i die what kind of life is that you can't be effective living in fear what if i die what if i'm kidnapped what if something happens there has to be a system of safety hallelujah listen listen to me this man talking to you is not stupid oh i have received all kinds of prophetic words for many years 
be careful with your life be careful with this we saw them kidnapping you we saw them doing this we saw this one planning to kill you the person talking is not stupid believe me if you don't engage this thing you will live in fear because the reality that surrounds you will be so real let god be true Listen, in the next five to ten minutes, please give some of my people the mic. I need these guys to pray with me. Worship team, give your mic. Let's have a few people go and, and, and pray. We are going to be praying and set this place on fire for the next ten minutes. Are we together? Maybe let's have three or four mics. There's still more people. And we are going to pray. As you are praying in the spirit you are opening up yourself tired of these limitations tired of living in fear tired of living by any whatever it is by the power of the word of god now go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Psalm 79 and verse 11 I want us to confront the spirit of death Psalm 79 and verse 11 please 
media are you helping us he said let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those appointed to die listen we are still praying preservation you are going to pray for you your children and all who are connected to you that the fullness of your days you will fulfill and any embargo of death hanging on you he must give way right now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray where is your skin? Oh, day. Where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, we curse you by the God of heaven, by the word of the Lord. Pray. Pray over your children. Pray over your family. Pray over your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. Preserve from death. Preserve from the soul. Preserve from the hands of evil and wicked men. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Please hear me. You are going to pray and cover everyone connected to you. Mention them by name and declare that under God and by the word of God, Satan. You have no hand over their life, whether in death, whether in tragedy, they are preserved. Lift your voice and pray. Mention them by name. He said, As for me and my house, call your mother, call your father, call your siblings, call your spouse call your children by name declare over their life prophesy preservation In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't be tired while praying. Hallelujah. You are going to declare that if there is any mark upon my life and destiny attracting tragedy to my life. That was what came upon Cain. And Cain cried. He said by reason of this mark anybody who sees me will harm me. You are going to lift up your voice and pray that if there be any strange mark that came by ancestry that came by bloodline upon my head and my destiny attracting tragedy in the name of jesus it is erased by the blood of the lamb go ahead and pray it is erased by the blood of the lamb every marking of darkness erased by the blood of the lamb erased by the blood of the lamb Erased by the blood of the Lamb. Erased by the blood of the Lamb.
Every mark in the name of Jesus, every mark upon my life, upon my family, upon koinonia for tragedy, for evil. By the blood of the Lamb, it is erased in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, please don't be tired. Two more prayer points. Don't be tired at all. The Bible says the spirit is willing, even though the flesh is weak. Don't make bargain with a destiny defining moment. Now you are going to pray that every pattern, whatever you saw happen to anyone and is now gradually coming to you, every pattern, pattern of failure, pattern of trouble, pattern of untimely death that seeks to come to me, my children, my family, I cancel it by the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen. This prayer we are going to pray is going to produce profound miracles. Listen. In the lives of people. I know what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that is making me tell you this. Some of you may not believe the prayers, but that's all right. But I want you to pray. Do you know there is an average of six to seven in every ten people that have this mysterious encounter with spirit husbands, spirit wives, strangers that come to people while they are sleeping. They come to molest you. They try to sleep with you. Plant all kinds of things in your body. Listen, as I'm praying now, many of you, the, the kind of deliverance that will come, this has been responsible for the barrenness of many people. If many people are to be open, they will tell you. A job is supposed to open up for you. You get to bed in the night. Here comes that experience again. Someone comes to sleep with you, molest you, or some kind of dehumanizing experience. And you wake up with a plethora of tragedies. During our discussion on deliverance next year, I will teach you some of these mysteries. There are imbalances to them that continue to plant fear in believers. I understand. But believe me, within the balance of scripture, I can tell you that there are orchestrations of darkness that try to latch onto men. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. I shared with you my own experience the person talking to you is not in ignorance i was already in ministry 
and yet this spirit will come mine is just to come and oppress me and because of the prophetic i would see them i would shout jesus in the name of jesus blood of jesus as a man of god don't think i'm talking nonsense here i understand these things many of you because of the stigma around church you may not have the courage to open up to say look i am going through this some of you have the, you feel physically like a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and do all can, and you find out that there are repercussions spiritually we're about to pray my god i'm just in fire in this place this is what i'm saying listen hold on just help those under the anointing because fire is falling here for sure say after me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Every spirit, every spirit that is not of the Christ, that is not of the Christ in and around my life, in and around my life I, decree and declare, I decree and declare by the mystery of the blood, by the of the let, blood there let there be an eternal separation live my life my destiny forever open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray an eternal separation every stranger latching onto your body every spirit coming to you using the faces of men the faces of animals creatures to molest you and oppress you by the blood eternal separation Help them, help those under the anointing. I command that spirit. You must go. Go with the sickness you brought. Go with the infirmity you brought. Go with the tragedy you brought. Out of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. in the name of jesus in the name of jesus falling in this place some of you you may not know what has come on your body is translating into fire believe me when i tell you this there are things in your body that must go it's time for them to go now just pray in the spirit in one minute i'm about to speak over your life everything that is not consistent with the character of christ in your life and destiny now is the time it must leave are we done let me know when we're done so that i can begin speaking hallelujah please listen these are mysteries in the kingdom for supernatural preservation now i want to pray 
just help those under the anointing as i pray you don't have to bring them out but i want to pray now if there's need to bring them out i'll bring them please just five minutes of prophetic declarations and we're done please pay attention now everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the holy ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now please help them be free now that happen as though tomorrow to over you let that spirit leave your destiny now hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cost that spirit now the same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever and any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them hallelujah if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them hallelujah i think he was in the I, I i don't i don't i don't watch the news so much but i, I saw something on the news or so 
about a young boy was it one young boy i think he's in nigeria here that was killed or i think i hope i'm right with that story i don't i really didn't follow the story but i said what sort of a thing is this i'm saying it again wherever your children are if there is any 